First tonight, a Nottinghamshire man has gone on trial accused of committing terrorist offences by helping the so-called Islamic State. The jury has been told that Adil Ulhaq helped a teenage fighter to travel out to Syria. He's one of three men who've gone on trial at the Old Bailey today. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball was there. This is the quiet road in Sutton in Ashfield where a teenager was accused of helping the so-called Islamic State of committing crimes using the internet from his hometown in Nottinghamshire. Today, Adil al Haq went on trial at the Old Bailey. He's jointly charged with two other men of preparing acts of terrorism, charges all three deny. The jury was told they're guilty because they helped this teenager travel to Syria to fight. He's Asil Mathana from Cardiff, who was only 17 years old. The prosecution say Adil al Haq had a network of contacts which he used to help people who wanted to join the conflict in Syria and that he advised the teenager online, telling him how to make the journey through Cyprus and Turkey by posing as a tourist. Are you willing to sacrifice the fat job you've got, the big car you've got? The jury was also shown this Islamic State propaganda video. Asil Mathana's older brother, Nasser, was in the starring role. And back in Nottinghamshire, Adi Lul Haq used the name Guilty Muslim to communicate on social media. The prosecution say he was part of a network who shared a radical Islamic ideology. Adi Lul Haq has also denied a second charge of funding terrorism. Tomorrow, the prosecution will continue outlining its case against him. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball is in London now for us tonight. How exactly is Adil ul Haq accused of helping the teenager who went to fight in Syria, Jeremy? Well, Quentin, the prosecution say that online network that he was part of supported violent conflict in Syria and that he was asked to help because he had such a good network of contacts um, of people who uh, could help those who wanted to travel out to Syria. The jury also heard that he sent uh, another man a list called 10 things to take on jihad in Syria, a list that included what clothing to take, what kind of phone to take, even how to travel light enough to run across the Syrian border. And what else did the jury hear today? Well, we heard about some fascinating conversations between some of the other men on trial, everything from being monitored by MI5 to complaints about their parents monitoring, their, uh, com uh, confiscating their passports. We heard that the 17-year-old who did eventually travel had to get a replacement passport through a friend of his, and that that's why Adil ul Haq couldn't travel out to join his friends in Syria. His trial here in London is due to last for around a month. Jeremy, thank you.